sorry, we were just talking about uh, welcome. Well, thank, thank you. Morning. Welcome, 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 Aston. We were actually talking about X Factor because that's yes. all. That's where it started for uh, JLS, and I was over because Louis was your mentor, and I remember that year, and he was so excited for you. Because so, Aston, he... it's not about you; it's about Alan. Is that no, okay? No, I was just right? saying <laughs> he, he was. He literally was so excited, and he kept saying. Yeah. I have something good here. And he really did. Yeah, and he knew he had you. something good in you. And you were brilliant on it. Thank you. No, that was a lot of fun. That's, as you said, that's the conception, I suppose, of JLS. We were rehearsing for so long for something like that to come along. And we were just like, do you know what? Everybody, same idea, same date. Let's just do it. Yeah. Let's go for it. And when we actually got the call to be like live shows and whatever, and we had Louis, it was, yeah, dream come true. Yeah. Because you just said there, the concept, the idea of a boy band, mm -hmm. it has evolved so much because yes. we get to the thing of, you stay together for a while, you, you break up, you go apart, but it's not this big, massive breakup and it's always coming back. Mm -hmm. Like take that, really set that norm. People like yeah. Duran Duran set that norm. Definitely, definitely. I think, as you said, because the boy band, hysteria at first and it is kind of aimed everyone's kind of oh you know it's at the young teen girls and all yeah. that kind of stuff and then it is that evolution of where can you kind of progress to how how do you see yourself growing up and this person's now got a family so it's all very i mean it's all very different in kind of that growing up period but look westlife have done it look at what westlife yeah. are doing they're in asia at the moment they're playing they here they played what three nights in the Aviva, oh, yeah, 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 like, yeah, I mean, yeah. 70,000 a night. So, I mean, it just, Smashing people it. love that nostalgia and then you have Bewitched getting back together. Yes. You have S Club. When you when it's not only S Club 2 or 3, it's all in the It's all there. <laughs> it's amazing. But can we talk about that hysteria for a minute? Yes. Let's can. talk about the person in your suitcase. Was it my suitcase? Uh, so, so, I'm so sorry, it wasn't. So, but there was a person this is in a your fan. suitcase. Yeah, actually in Dublin as well. This was this of is of course. This, well done, Ireland. Well, no, this is. This, but this is a story that stays with us forever. I think it's. It was around that time of the hysteria, and we're over here doing a show. We just done so many shows, and it's a bit like right. We're jumping off the bus. We're here, and there was at the time lots of people kind of around the bus and 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 waiting for us. So obviously we come off, take pictures and all sorts, and as the team was unloading the bags. But they obviously know our bags and our stuff, and they were like, that's who's this? That's not one of the boys. Is this yours? No, it's not yours. And then it kind of, the movement of the bag kind of shook up one of our tickets. There was yeah. a fan in the bag, in, in the, the suitcase. Bag. Yeah. And I don't know where they obviously were planning to go to. Was it a, was it a girl or a guy? We were rushed into the hotel. So <laughs> I just, as, far as, I, as, as far as I know, it was a young girl, and I think she's fine if you're out there. I think you're... <laughs> Okay. So she um, had been like, I'll lash myself into this bag, put myself in the deep bus. No, so and then put is, her on a bus. My so thing is, who, who, who put, put her, her who there? Put her the my case. thing is kind of going, who wheeled her along in this case and put her with our stuff? That's the, that's the bit that I'm a bit like, where's that friend? Can you imagine she'd person? gotten to the room and she just got out and it wasn't one of you, it was a roadie. She's like, ah, oh, <laughs> Yeah, imagine, yeah. All this effort yeah. for nothing. Or just this. storage. If she or was in storage, storage, you kind of go, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to plan. We don't need that bag till next week. <laughs> exactly, that wouldn't have been. They're the no. great stories, though. Like, oh, it's a brilliant, my insanity. kids will never believe that. I love that. When I tell my kids that in years to come, they'll be like, oh, dad, no. she's not, whatever. Because you're a naff dad. I, that's what you're going to end up, no matter what, how cool well, you are. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll, oh, do you think you're going to be a cool dad? Every dad, uh, every dad cool thinks dad. they're going to be you're a cool, cool dad. dad. Right. I'm going to try to be. But you are bringing, because you have a dance studio. Yes. In London. Yes, Bay Studios, yeah. Bay which is huge, Aston. Yeah, it's, um, it's fastly growing, which is an amazing thing about social media and stuff like that. We've got some of the most amazing talents ever to, I suppose, be on this earth. Janet Jackson, whoever used our studios and just be like kind of almost call it home. And then we've got over 120 or teachers now that kind of have unbelievably full classes. And it's um, it's, it's, a, it's a massively vibey place. It's amazing. It's the biggest outside America. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, Congratulations. It's Thank you. It's, just, it's down to them. I'm just kind of, you know, I was there, Conception, me and my business partner and best friend, we were just like, right, yeah, this is the idea. Let's just put it into plan. Now the team are just taking it to new heights. So it's amazing. Because it is when you're front and center and mm. we're all sitting here and we're like Aston from JLS. Yeah. It's important that you have fingers in so many other pies because you've got a family, you've got so many other things going on. Yes. So indeed. there's a lot behind the facade that we see. Yeah. The Trying to still be 21, looking, <laughs> <laughs> looking pretty good. You're looking, looking pretty good. good. Looking good at it. And going out there doing solo work because you are on tour. You're going to be in Ireland um, in April. You are doing a solo tour. Yes. How? Because right. you you've been doing that for a while. You know yeah. you haven't had the lads all the time. How do you how do you find it? Um, it's fun in the sense of I get to fully be free. If that makes any sense, like yeah. I'm still free and jealous, which is great. 
But, you know, especially when, like, when I've done Irish shows over before, it's... Giving it the moves. Try, trying to. I'm still trying. I'm still trying. My, again, credit to my team, because they push me. They push me. So when you are with some of the most amazing dancers in the industry, DJs, all that kind of thing on the stage, I have to up my level tenfold and make sure that it still kind of revolves around, you know, my yeah. artistry well, on back, stage. And does the so, wife, yeah. Sarah, help you with it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, like, yeah. she's dancer Sorry, choreographer, yeah. yeah. She is. She is. She cracks the whip, for sure. She's just like, no, nope, again, let's go again. That wasn't good. This, so she's brutally honest with me, which I need. So not everything can be great, but she's like, right, we'll go again. This can be better. We can do this. You can do so. Because when, when you came out, like, it's the full package. You're a dancer, mm. you know, dancer and a singer. And you kind of look at, like, I remember when poor Dua Lipa at one stage, like, she was out there and everyone was like, you know, she went viral for not yeah. being able to dance. And she went off and she worked on it. Oh, God, yes, it's great now. It's great now. The whole package is expected an awful lot of the time, especially when you're doing pop music. I think so, but I think, in, as, as you said earlier, everything kind of changes within yeah. the time. So I think it's to have someone that does do the full entertainment package, let's say, on stage, that wants to kind of bring the charisma with the, the music and the singing and the dancing, that, that's not as expected anymore, or some bits may kind of okay. elevate more than others. Like, you've got a Lewis Capaldi whose personality is so infectious and it's brilliant. The voice is incredible. Yeah. But then I've never seen him dance. And if he did dance, he'd probably throw it into the more charisma side of it and yeah. just make it... I think it'd be good. A thing, yeah. do you know what I mean? So, me, you know, that's, that's, that's something that can... But, uh, yeah, the JLS, so the JLS tour, but, and, like, the merchandise yeah. is always a huge part of a show when you're touring. Mm. JLS condoms? Well, they're, 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 <laughs> I can't say anything about that now. I've got two kids, so... <laughs> <laughs> they, they work 90% of the time, all the time. Two children. So they won't be on this tour, then? That was a merchandise that previously. Was, uh, no, to be fair, to be, in, 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 <laughs> they were That was a Wait merchandise thing. Wait till he tells thing. his kids about that. I know. I, I can't, actually, can I? Um, <laughs> That was actually, my mum used to be a social worker, so she was always like, guys, you're in such a great position to get rid of this kind of taboo stigma thing of talking about sexual health and all this all kind right. of stuff. So she was like, if there's any, cause she used to work with young mums and okay. obviously very big fans of ours and stuff like that. And, and it was just kind of this case of no one is outspoken about that stuff and being like, it's okay, you just need to be educated. So we kind of try to do it in... <laughs> the most sensitive you way were possible. Selling condoms, on set. basically. But for charity, yeah, so we didn't actually charity. make. Yeah, exactly. So we didn't make anything <laughs> off it. For charity. Them, but it for was all for charity, and it was all in, in a place coming from you know trying to a gather as much place. knowledge and just trying to get rid of that stigma of it can be talked about. They'd basically. be lashing them out at the tour. They weren't, yeah. You're, you're back together. But, like, you are back together, you're going touring. Was that a nice conversation? Lashing, 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 lashing them out. Lashing them out at the JLS concert. As long as that's what they're the lashing at. The tree arena all, will be packed. You're all, you're all married men at this stage. That's all exactly, I'm saying. Exactly. Is, getting back together, was it easy? Lads, come on, let's go on a tour. Basically, yeah. That was it. Like, no, but this is where there's no kind of big... You know, everyone kind of thinks this story of, ah, oh, this has to happen. It was as easy as kind of having a glass of wine. Let's do one it. One of the guys' houses, because, you know, we do get together on, you know, very often occasion. And should we do another one? Yeah. Like, the fans call Let's for it. Let's it. just do it. And it, it is as easy as that. It's, it's, it's fun and we find it fun. So it's, we don't have to make this massive drama about anything. And, you know, make massive press stories. It's just, it's it, fun. It is going it. to be so, brilliant. But your solo so tour, nice. you're April 28th, 29th and 30th, you're in uh, the Cypress Avenue in Cork, mm -hmm. Dublin's Opium and then the Limelight in Belfast. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then JLS come back to the Three Arena in Be and Belfast mm -hmm. on, in October 20th and 21st. Indeed. It's busy going year. to be great. You have a busy year ahead. I do, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. get the condoms into production now. <laughs> Aston Mary Gold, it's been a pleasure chatting to you this morning. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank literally you. going, I don't how did my interview turn into this? <laughs> See the way he said they get together and have a glass of wine in someone's house? Yeah. They work together and invite people to their houses there. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. Never had an invite. Never been invited over. You are. You're coming sure, soon. Yeah. Thank you, Aston. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.